In this video, I'll show you three methods for how you can add a tune style outline to your models in Blender. And those methods are using the grease pencil, using the solidify modifier, and using the freestyle method in Blender. Now, if you wanna learn how to create tune style artworks in Blender, then you might be interested in checking out my recently released tutorial series on how to create this tune style tea scene in Blender. You can find the link to that tutorial series in the description. So the first method I'll show you is how to use the grease pencil to create a tune style outline. Line. So what you're going to do is select the object, you can go to the add menu, and you can go to grease pencil, and you can add the object line art. And you can see it's now added this line art to the object. Now if you don't have a camera in your 3D scene, then you're not going to be able to see the outline because the outline adapts to the camera view. And so kind of over here, you can see it looks a bit messed up because it adapts to the position of the camera. So you should be in the camera view when you're previewing it. Now how this is working is it's added this line art here. You can see it's added this line art object in the outliner. And if you go to the modifiers of this line art, you can see it's set up this line art modifier and the object is the Suzanne monkey head. So if you want to change any of the settings, you can just select the line art. You can go to the modifiers and then you can change the line thickness to make that more thick. You can also change the opacity if you want to make it less visible. And there's many other settings you can change here on the modifier. And then to change the color, you can click over here on the material property and you can just change the base color right here so you could make it a different color if you want. Now if I just delete this line art, I'll again select the monkey head and I'll go to the add menu and under grease pencil as well as there being object line art, there's also scene and collection. So I'm going to choose scene and this is going to do it for all the objects at once. So if you just want to add line art to all the objects in your scene, you can quickly do it like that. You can also select the object, go to the add menu and go to grease pencil and you can choose collection line art and this is going to add the line art to all the objects in a certain collection. Now you can see here on default, it's added it to this default collection but I have a trees collection and a monkeys collection for the objects. So if you select the line art and then go to the modifiers, you can choose the collection here on the modifier that you want it to affect. So I could choose monkeys and now it's just going to add line art to the monkeys or also the trees. And another useful option to know on the modifiers is on the edge type, the crease threshold. So you can drag the crease threshold up, and if it's turned all the way up to 180, it's going to add a line to every single edge. And so this is kind of giving it like a wireframe effect, or you can turn the crease threshold way down, and now it's just going to go along the outlines of the object. Now the next option for adding line art is using the solidify modifier. So what we're first gonna do is select the object and we're gonna go to the material panel and we're gonna add a new material into the material slot. Let's click on new and I'm gonna call this outline. So on the surface here, I'm just gonna choose the emission shader and then for the color here, I'll make it fully black, but you can change this color to whatever color you want for the outline. Now on this outline material, we also wanna go to the settings here and we wanna check mark the back face culling and this will hide the back faces of that material. So with the object selected, let's go to the modifiers and we're going to add the solidify modifier. Now to make this solidify look like line art, we want to go down here to normals and we want to click on flip so that it flips the normals of the solidify. Then we want to go down here to the materials and here on the material offset, this is going to tell it which material to use in the material panel. So if the material offset is set to zero, then it's going to use the very first material in the material slots. So you may need to turn it to a bigger number so that it uses the bottom one here, the outline. But for me, since I just have two materials, I can go here to the modifier and here on the material offset, I can just turn this to one. And so it's telling it that it's gonna use the next material in the material slots. So I can now change the thickness. So depending on your object, you might wanna make it a negative number or a positive number, just change it to whatever looks best. And unlike the grease pencil method, this method will work anywhere in your view. So you don't just have to be in the camera view, you can be anywhere in the scene to see it. But you should make sure you're in the rendered viewport mode because you won't be able to see it in the solid view. And the last method for adding a tune style outline is using freestyle. So to use freestyle, you can go to the render properties, you can scroll down here, and you can check mark the freestyle. Now, the freestyle won't show up until you render the scene because it's a post processing effect. So you can click on render, render image, or just press F12 to render, and you can see it'll render the image. And then after it renders the image, it's going to add the freestyle. So now you can play around with 
with the settings. Let me bring this up here. So you can turn up the line thickness and then just press F12 to render this again. You can see now the lines are a bit thicker. Now there's not very many settings over here. So to get to more settings, you'll need to click here on the view layer settings. And then if I just close the passes, here's the freestyle and you can see they have lots of different settings. So I'll just go over a few settings that you might find helpful. So if you open up the freestyle right here, you can change this crease angle. So if you turn this up to 180 and then render this again, then it's going to add the freestyle to every single edge. So again, this is kind of giving you a wireframe effect, or you can turn it much farther down to a smaller number. And now you can see it's mostly just going to show up on the edges. And if you open up the freestyle color right here, you can change the color. So for example, I could make it a white color, but probably for most things, you're probably going to want to leave it as a black color. Now under the freestyle thickness, you can add some modifiers here. And a cool modifier you might find interesting is the calligraphy modifier. So I'll just render this again after adding the calligraphy. You can see it kind of looks like it's a calligraphy pen. So some parts are more thin and then other parts are thicker. Another one you might find interesting, if I click on add modifier, you can add a noise modifier and I could render this again. Again, and you can see it's gonna make very noisy edges and let me turn the influence way down to maybe just like a 0.1 or a 0.2 so it's not quite as strong that's a bit better maybe I'll just turn it down even more to like a 0.05 and that's just gonna give a tiny bit of noise so it looks more natural and it looks kind of hand drawn so those are three methods on how to add a tune style outline to your models in blender and if you'd like to learn how to create tune style 3d artworks in blender then definitely check out my tune style t scene tutorial series links in the description if you like to check out that tutorial series. But I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.